Day 4 of Invictus, and we've got Misk, Crusader, Marai, and Tumbrel with ships and vehicles in the Expo Hall. We still have four quantity-limited ships coming up. The next available time and stock limited ship will be the Idris, P, and the Javelin. These should be available tomorrow, Tuesday the 21st and Wednesday the 22nd. Later in the week, the Kraken and Kraken Privateer will have a limited stock sale on Saturday, May 25th and Sunday, May 26th. So let's go through this. The Freelancer has had one ever. Again, I am anticipating the Freelancer... Uh, all of them will start to have them more when it goes through its revamp, but until then, probably not. It seems quite rare. Uh, I think the Freelancer and Freelancer Max uh, have had very, very few. Uh, Freelancer's only had one that I'm aware of, and I think the Freelancer Max has only had one that I'm aware of. The Dur has never had one, and the MIS, uh, Freelancer MIS, has, has never had one either. So again, Freelancer, quite rare. I wouldn't count on it in the near term, but you never know. Probably not for this event because uh, we've we've gone through MISC now. Uh, unless something comes up on the last day, there's a low likelihood that a MISC ship will have another warp on CCU. The Cutlass Black has also uh, is one of those ships that has never had a warp on CCU. I expect that eventually it will, mainly because the price increased. This used to be a hundred dollar ship. Um, I think right before the C1 Spirit launched, the Cuddy Black went up in price. Or maybe it went up and then went back and then it went up again right after, something like that. So it used to be a $100 ship. It used to be the standard $100 ship that everybody loved. Um, things change over time, though. So this one, uh, who knows if it'll ever have a, a Warbond CCU. I would anticipate that eventually, again, it will because the price increase. But, man, I it's never had one, and it's one of the most common ships in the verse. I think most of the early backers probably until 2018 probably bought the Cutlass as one of their starter packs. It's just such a commonplace ship or upgraded to it right uh, through the CCU process or maybe added it on as another ship. There, there's, It's very widespread. Anyway, jumping off of that bandwagon, uh, Buccaneer, another one yet again that has never had a Warbond CCU. Uh, at least not that I've seen and not that's listed on the ccugame.app application. In case you guys don't know about the CCU game app, I'm going to jump over there real quick. This is the web address for it. I will put that in the notes uh, so you guys can utilize this tool. It's a fantastic tool. I didn't like it a long time ago, but eventually I had so many chains and so many CCUs that I, it was it was becoming unmanageable within spreadsheets. Although I do still keep the spreadsheets as backup, uh, this is an invaluable tool. Uh, I suggest you use it. And um, if you have the additional cash from all these savings, maybe toss them some, uh, some appreciation cash or something. I don't know. Getting back to it, where are we here? So the Buccaneer, again, I'm so happy about the Buccaneer. I, for for those of us that have played this game for a really long time, the Buccaneer was like the badass ship for for quite a while, and then it uh, it got kicked off by the Gladius that just owned it in all in all realms of a fighting ship. Um, and then for a time, it was really good for PVE because uh, distortion cannons were amazing, and you'd load up the top. Anyway, <laughs> it's a it used to be great, and then it was not Gary and then it was good for a short time period and then it sucked for like a really long time we're talking over almost two years that this thing was basically useless in in combat I mean you could use it in PvE I suppose but that was mainly due to the crappy NPC um, mechanics uh, anyway it is fantastic now not only in PvE but also in PvE PvP uh, for those of you that uh kind of join the verse to do the pvp ship battle stuff this is a, a killer ship right now especially in 1v1 uh, 2v2 kind of stuff um, and it just excels at pve ship to ship combat um, it, it's fantastic anyway jumping back it's never had a warp on ccu uh, back to reality folks not a good choice gladius valiant uh, never had a war bond um, doesn't make sense that it would it's a limited edition ship kind of thing Pirate Gladius is even more limited edition ship. Uh, probably never going to have one. 
best in show edition, never going to have one. Centurion, it's an okay choice. It's had two, two, one, two, at least one. It's only had one, maybe two. <laughs> I think it's had two. Um, when it launched, it had one. And then in 2022, it had one. Maybe that was the same one. So again, still relatively rare though. Um, did I skip over the regular Gladius? No, Gladius is down here at 90. So the Gladius has, but look, you're spending 25 to save 10 down here. Um, the Gladius, again, is more, uh, has had more Warbond CCUs. It's had two and they've been uh, one was, or no, wait, it's only had one, hasn't it? Yeah, just one. And it was last year at this time. Um, so it's Aegis. So again, there's a chance it could come up. Uh, what is tomorrow Aegis? I think tomorrow is Aegis again in the expo hall. So it's, it's at least likely that we'll have an Aegis ship tomorrow uh, for a war bond. But man, out of these choices at the 110 level, there's it seems like there's a lot. So currently I've got a Centurion and a Freelancer uh, Warbond CCU, I'm not sure if they're actually in use, but I know I have one of each. So I could go either way. Um, if I was starting today and I needed to pick one, hmm. Centurion or the Freelancer? I don't know, man. Maybe go with the Freelancer. It just kind of entered the pool of available Warbond ships. Uh, very recently, I think it was this year, right? It was uh, back in, oh no, it was the end of last year, my bad. Yeah, it was in uh, July of last year. So what, what events in 7th, July 31st? I don't even know what event that is. <laughs> Probably some special event. Uh, maybe that was when they uh, redid the Cargo Factor, maybe? I don't know. Whew, that makes it maybe less likely. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's kind of a toss up. I probably look the Cutlass Black eventually will have one because of the price increase, but I don't know when that's going to be. The Buccaneers never had one, but and right now everybody wants a ship, so it's less likely that they're going to give a discount to, on a ship that everybody really wants for whatever reason. I mean, that's just like marketing supply and demand, right? Uh, Gladys Valiant, no, 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 no. Uh, Centurion. I don't know, I guess pick the Centurion. I think it's probably more likely to come back than the Freelancer. And then again, down here, it's like, you're spending 15 to save 10 for the M50, which I think has had one, maybe. The Hawk, Storm AA. Uh, these are all $100 ships. But again, you're leaving too much on the table, I think, because this is such a, it's a $10 discount off the bat, regardless of what ship you choose. Uh, any any five dollar increment you go down down the stack here is just you're you're eating up your your savings. Um, so yeah, freelancer or centurion are going to be my recommendations, and you guys can pick on your own uh, which one you want to get. Whew, that was a quick and easy one, even though I was a bit long winded. Uh, appreciate you guys joining in, tuning in. I uh, hope this information was valuable, and hopefully it can save you some cash in whatever chain you're building right now or in the future. All right, guys, that's it for me. Zytec, out.